Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna do a DIY. I'm gonna show you how I make my own pin board. It's a little bit different than your average pin board, but I hope you'll like it. I marked this DIY to be easy, so hopefully be straightforward to understand. Materials. So you will need some fabric of your choice, some foam core, a wood frame. I happen to have gotten mine at the dollar store. I know they sell these at Michael's and Joanne's for an example as well. Some acrylic of your choice, a paintbrush, hot glue and the glue sticks, frame hanging device, bump-ons that are optional, an X-Acto knife, pencil, iron and ironing board. This is optional as well, but definitely a plus. Fabric scissors, a healing mat, and your pins of your choice to display on your pin board. So let's get started. So first we'll be working with our wood frame and our foam core. Uh, foam core comes in an acid-free option or non-acid-free, I would suggest acid-free so it won't cause any damage to your uh, pins you'll be placing on here. Using my wood frame, I outlined the center of the oval and then now I'm going to do an echo outline of the outside of it just for seam allowance for, back of the, for lack of a better word so the oval shape for the pin board won't fall through the opening of the wood frame. So now taking your X-Acto knife, be very, very careful in cutting this out um, because it is sharp. Um, and if you're not familiar with using an X-Acto knife, just please be very careful. Go slow because it is a curved shape. And I am cutting on my healing mat. And if you don't happen to have a healing mat, I would suggest cutting this out on some really thick cardboard or a cutting board from the kitchen just so you won't hurt anything or anyone while you're cutting this out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's what I'm cutting it out on. Just go very slow it, to get that oval shape down. Now your fabric. So I chose this pink sprinkly type of fabric for my background for my um, pin board. And feel free to use whatever you'd like. This happens to just fit my aesthetic. Um, you don't need a lot of fabric for this part of the project, just enough to make it really cute. I would suggest ironing it before you decide to permanently attach to your uh, pin board here, but I decided not to. Uh, you might want to. <laughs> so I am going to take a little bit of hot glue and put it on the very top of my foam core, just where the top, just the very, very top of the oval. I'm going to do a little bit um, of the same on the bottom. so. Uh, top, bottom, left, and right. I'm doing the four corners of this shape just so I have an even distribution of the fabric while I'm pulling it over um, this foam core. Um, when I used to be a custom framer, this would be referred to as a board stretch, uh, but with glue. <laughs> but it's very similar to it. It's just so the design gets, or the fabric gets e evenly distributed over the foam core so it won't be wrinkly. So once you have put in a little bit of glue on the top, bottom, left and right, you'll be doing the in-between. So in between the top and right, in between the right and bottom, and same on the other side as well. Um, just take your time with this so you don't create any wrinkles. Um, that's why when you see me putting the glue down, I am doing maybe an inch, inch and a half worth of glue as I go around the oval shape. So once you have gotten all that down, you can tell in the back here, all the fabric is laying out everywhere to keep it uh, more tucked in and attached to the pin board. We're gonna attach the back extra fabric down. Again, we're gonna do it in sections, just like an inch, inch and a half worth of glue and pull it tight. It will have these wrinkles, but as long as it's snug around the oval shape, it will keep the fabric from peeling away from the oval shape for the pin board. So once you have glued the back edge all the way around the oval shape, we're now going to cut off the excess uh, fabric away from the pin board. Um, I'm just using some fabric scissors here and getting 
fairly close to where I did all the gluing. It's about an inch echo around the outside of the oval shape. Uh, so once you have trimmed that away, it is now time to figure out uh, if this looks good or not. It's funny because when I first started designing this um, pin board, I thought I was going to do a, on, a glue on the underside of the oval um, shaped wood frame, but now I think I'm going to do it on the top of it, which I was experimenting with, which is what you just saw. But yeah, I think I'm going to do it on the top, which I really, really like. And now I'm going to start painting the oval uh, frame. So I really like this oval frame, it's really cute, um, but it has this natural wood look, it's a raw wood, but I would like it to be pink like my aesthetic, so I'm using some pink acrylic to paint it, just one coat, and I didn't do a top coat on this, like a clear coat, but you could if you'd like to, and yeah, I only painted the top, and now I'm going to attach the pin board. Using a happy helping of glue all the way on the outside, back side of the pin board, I'm going to attach it to the wood frame now. Um, give it a little tap, wait for a couple minutes um, for the hot glue to completely settle. And yeah, we're in a good place where it's nearly done, which is pretty great. Um, before we are done with the actual frame part, we're going to attach the hanging device. This is called a sawtooth comb. Um, this is just a two inch sawtooth comb. You can get it from any home goods store, Home Depot, a framing store. Um, yeah, I'm just using some hot glue. You typically would put screws on the holes on the left and right of the sawtooth comb, but this frame is really not really a frame. It's a wood, like, decorative frame, so I didn't do that. I also put some rubber bumpers in the back of this piece. I don't know if you saw me tap those down. They're like little stickers, uh, little bump clear stickers. They're to keep the frame from scratching the wall. You usually get it in the sawtooth comb frame pack. And now the funnest part, you get to take your pins and now decorate your frame. And as you can see right here, I am trying to attach the back of the pin back to the pin while it's through the foam core. But the foam core I picked out was a little too thick, so it wasn't holding the pin backs as well. So I'm actually going to save the pin backs and put them into a little chest later. And it kind of works out that way anyways because some of these pin backs are better than others so now I get to pick whenever I want to pluck one off the board and wear whatever pin I want to wear for whatever outfit so I am ready. <laughs> And that's it. It's done. It's super cute and very happy with it has turned out. It is a smaller pin board, so eventually when I get more pins, I need to get slash make a bigger pin board, but I think this turned out really, really cute. As you can see right here, I'm putting all the pin backs in this chest right here so I can pluck whichever one I need out when I would like to wear one of these. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the only thing I might have would have changed is maybe doing a bigger one, but again, this works for what I need. It turned out really, really cute. It's in my bedroom next to my jewelry armoire, so I can just pick one out whenever I want to wear one. And thanks for watching. I hope this inspires you to make your own pin board, and have a magical day. Bye.